Hi, this is Deepen Google Technical Analyst of Allies Blue. So in this video, I'll discuss about Bank Nifty. So now you can see this is a Bank Nifty 15 minute uh, time frame, right? So now you can see yesterday I told that if price break this supporting line around 27,200, right? So here we can see uh, we have seen this was a support and uh, uh, when price just opened, and they broke this supporting line and you can see at that time below this supporting line and now you can see they form a resistance line and below this resistance line they form a inverted hammer so when uh, this type of pattern appear like candlestick pattern appear here i place a sell order just a little more below here so next candle you can see here uh, next candle i think uh, this candle uh, triggered my uh buy put option right i bought a put option so somewhere uh, here was uh, like yesterday close and i closed my position here right when mark before market closed five to ten minutes uh, right so you can see uh, uh after breaking this uh, supporting line price is just targeting toward let me show you uh, next supporting line where I given already 26,625, right? So now we can see in which direction we can go uh, for buy or sell right now. Now you can see here, uh, let me show you in a daily time frame. So most of the people are thinking daily time frame is not applicable for intraday data, but uh, that is a different concept. But before we enter in this market, we have to find out support and resistance. So and by this, uh, by seeing this support and resistance, so we always find out our entry and exit point. Remember, so now you can see. Let's see here daily chart. Now we have seen some support out there, right? If you see the market uh, previous market behavior, right? Let me show you. And just let me show a little more here. Now you can see we have seen some strong support because in my our. Uh, previous market behavior have you seen this was a support this was support and the support and the support we have seen four times they're trying testing to break this line and they are acting as a strong support in this area and when i drawn a horizontal line we have seen clear support out there and now they are forming a strong support remember so above this support we never gonna buy we never oh, sorry we never gonna sell right we are looking for a perfect buy signal right because here we can see a trend is down if we start buying here so that call counter trading that means we are going against the trend right so why most of the like who have a, a vast knowledge of professional trader does like that okay uh, there people are doing uh, like uh, counter trading right so if you have any doubt no need to go right so that is why you just in this area we are looking for at least four uh, three to four confirmation for the buy otherwise we never gonna buy right because large time frame the trend is down right so in a downtrend we never buy but above the supporting line remember above not below above the supporting line we are looking for at least three to four confirmation for the buy confirmation right for the buy and that is called counter trading remember counter trading is a, a little more risky right if you have uh, less knowledge so no need to do right and then now if the break this supporting line remember if the break this supporting line because uh, here uh, acting as a strong support if the break this supporting line we will go for sell right uh sorry uh if who people are option that we can go for buy put option right so next and uh, next the uh, supporting uh support is showing here around twenty five thousand uh five hundred eighty right so most of the people are asking me why i'm not placing by connecting this uh, pattern like it's uh, forming a w pattern and there was a neckline right here was a neckline so why i'm not placing here and here also supporting are, are there but why i place because let me show you another thing 
if I observe the weekly chart and we have seen 150 moving average are there, right? 150 moving average are there here. And similarly, daily chart, we have seen more tested area are there. Have you seen? More tested. I think uh, this is a daily chart. Uh, one, one, two, three, four, five day they are testing to break this level, right? Here also. And here you can see at least five days are there. And that is where I place by connecting uh, weekly exponential moving average and the daily um, more touches area. So I place a support. That means this will be a strong support, right? If they break this level, so we'll go for sell up to this level, right? Up to this level, right? So let's check it uh, in a small time frame. Like uh, let me show you four hour time frame. Uh, this is a four hour time frame. And uh, let me see. Uh, in four hour chart, we have seen the price is just uh, forming uh, like uh, here you can see uh, creating lower a uh, low uh, sorry higher low right higher low but now you can see they are trying to create a lower low right so uh, for the lower low they must break this previous lower point so what is the previous lower point previous lower point is 26,625 right so once they break and after doing a retracement uh, toward uh, the supporting line and it will be act like a resistance so below this resistance line will start selling right so that is why we are looking for and uh, below this uh, resistance line right so let's check in a small time frame like a 15 minute and so for uh, for buy and uh, sell entry so we have seen right now uh, that means we have seen here just a minute here uh, we have seen this is support and the daily time frame or four hour 15 minute or whatever we have seen this is strong support right this is a strong support we have seen now we can see uh, support is showing 26,625 right so if you analyze the previous market behavior price is following moving average 100 right this one uh, after breaking this line, uh, sub, uh, sorry, supporting line, price just drop down and retrace toward 100 moving average and again drop down, 100 moving average, drop down. So we are expecting this is a strong support, the price will retrace again toward this moving average, right? 100 moving average will be there, right? So, and uh, if price break this level, once they reach this area, so we have seen this, uh, that will be a sell signal, right? But uh, now you can see, is it time to go for buy here in this area or we can hold it, right? So uh, if you want to see, we have some candlestick pattern above this supporting line. Have you seen? So this is called tweezer pattern, right? So let me show you and let me remove zoom this chart, right? So now you can see we have a tweezer pattern order here, right? This is called tweezer pattern, right? So once uh, they form this type of pattern, it is confirming that price will go up a little more. But by forming this candlestick pattern, you don't think that price will take uh, like this area because we have seen the market is following moving average 100, right? So once they form this type of candlestick pattern, it's a high probability to go again toward this uh, moving, paper, uh, moving average, right? So who people are uh, try to buy like a, like a call option and they can place your SL uh, just below uh, this area around that area. Once the price break this level, you just close the market because in a large time frame, trend is down. And if you want to enter here, that call is counter trading, right? Uh, it is a little more risky. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.